Hi and welcome back to Catholic Mom and Daughter. I'm Jennifer, the mom, and I'm going solo today because I am talking about Father Mike Schmidt's amazing Bible in a Year podcast. Now I know a lot of you out there are also doing the Bible in a Year, and I just want to say we're on day 178 here. So we are almost halfway through the Bible, which I think is very exciting, and I think we're doing a great job. So today I wanted to talk about some of my favorite things about doing the Bible in the Year and some of the things I've learned along the way. All right, the first thing that I really like about the Bible in a Year podcast is that the daily readings are broken down into very manageable chunks. You may be reading three, four, maybe five chapters a day, and that feels very doable to me. I never feel overwhelmed by the reading. The next thing I like too is that you're not reading just random things from different chapters of the Bible. This Bible reading plan is very well thought out and it makes connections. For example, if you're reading about King David and 1 Samuel, then you're also reading the Psalms that King David wrote. So you're making all those connections and then Father Mike comes behind and gives really good explanations and clarifies points. So it just makes for a very educational and enjoyable experience. The next thing I'm really liking about reading the Bible in a year is enjoying the beautiful writing in the Bible, all the different styles, the poetry, the prose, the action, the adventure. My favorite book in the whole Bible is the Gospel of John because it's just so beautifully written. And of course, I also love the message. So hearing Father Mike read it out loud and then listening to his reflections afterwards only made me love the Gospel of John even more. Over the past six months, I've really enjoyed getting to know the people and the stories of the Bible a lot better. Some of the stories are creepy and weird, some of them are amazing, and some of them are very moving and touching. And you know, if you've watched our channel, that we love the Chosen TV series here. It's a series about the life of Christ, and I'll link that below for you. But in a recent episode, Jesus and John the Baptist were talking about King David, and at the the very end of the conversation, John the Baptist makes a little bit of a joke about King David, and we got the joke because we have been reading the Bible in a year with Father Mike. So that was a lot of fun. I love being educated and informed and being able to catch little things like that. And of course, I'm also really enjoying listening to Father Mike every day. He is a great host for the podcast. He's very high energy. He's funny. He's very knowledgeable. His reflections and insights have really helped me understand the Bible a lot more. Okay, so those are a few of the reasons why I really have enjoyed reading the Bible in a year. So now let's move on to the different things I've learned. First, I learned something pretty important about myself. When the idea first came up of reading the Bible in a year, one of my friends sent me a message and said, hey, do you want to do this program with Father Mike? And I thought, yes, in theory I do, but in reality, will I be able to make that commitment and keep up with it? I don't want this to be something that I start enthusiastically and then it fizzles out over a few weeks. But what I've discovered is that the opposite has happened. Instead of fizzling out, I'm just loving it more and more each day, and I'm learning so much along the way, so that is what I'm going to share with you now. The first thing I've learned from reading the Bible in the year is that I'm not very good with names. Some of the names in Chronicles and Kings are all starting to run together. They're very interesting names, but they're a little bit hard to keep track of, but that's okay. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. And anyway, there are other things that I have learned that probably are more important than just keeping track of a bunch of names. So I really have two big takeaways so far from six months of reading the Bible. And the first thing that has really jumped out at me in reading all these Bible stories is that God truly values obedience over sacrifice. If your name is Moses and God tells you not to strike the rock, you shouldn't strike the rock. God wants us to know his will and do it. All the times in the Bible where people have gotten to a really bad mess, most of the time it's because they have disobeyed God's will. And that was true in Bible times, and I think is also true in our modern times. How many times have we gotten in trouble because we have done things that we know God did not want us to do? He's telling us to do this thing, but we're doing something else. And another big thing I've learned this year is that God is truly a mystery. There's that quote from the Bible, my ways are not your ways, says the Lord. And I think that really does sum it up. 
No matter how much I read or reflect or ponder, I am never going to truly understand the mind of God or truly know the reason why certain things happen. That's just how it's going to be. I can be obedient, I can be trustful, I can turn to God with my problems, but I'm probably never going to understand it all. And that's where I think having childlike faith really comes into play. So that's been a good thing for me to ponder these past six months. How much am I willing to trust God, am I okay with letting go? Are you? All right, so those are the things I'm really liking about the Bible in a Year podcast and the two big things that I have learned. If you are looking for a way to really grow your daily habit of reading the Bible, then I can't recommend the Bible in a Year enough. And the thing is, you don't have to wait till January 1st to start. The podcasts are all there at the Ascension website starting with day one. So you can pick July 1st or August 1st or July 15th and let that be your day one. The program is also now available on YouTube. So if that's more your style, I will link that for you down below. All right, so that's it. We are halfway through the Bible in a year. If you are also doing this program, I would love to hear from you. What are your big takeaways so far? So let's keep praying for each other as Father Mike would say thank you for watching and I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye!